SpaceX tested its crew capsule abort rockets Wednesday as the latest step in preparing its Crew Dragon capsule for manned spaceflight. Four, three, two, one, launch. Lift off. In this test, SpaceX says our primary objective is to capture as much data as possible, as the data captured here will be key in preparing Crew Dragon for its first human missions in 2017. The abort system uses eight SpaceX-designed Super Draco engines. Combined, they can crank out 120,000 pounds of thrust in less than a second to get astronauts as far as possible as fast as possible in the event of an emergency. Launch escape systems are required for NASA to certify any crew program. NASA used similar rockets on its Apollo capsule and will use a similar system for Orion when it starts manned launches in the early 2020s. But where these systems use puller rockets to yank the crew capsule out of harm's way, Crew Dragon's rockets are built into the lower edges of the capsule in a pusher configuration. Integrated rockets have two benefits. Since they're never ejected, Crew Dragon has abort capability at nearly any point during the launch sequence, and SpaceX hopes to use them for more than emergency escapes. Just like its Falcon rocket recovery, SpaceX plans to eventually return its Crew Dragon capsules to the ground under their own thruster power. The next step is an in-flight abort test. SpaceX aims to test its escape system from abort an ascending Falcon later this year. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.